serving God, you're serving the devil. You have to serve someone, God or the devil. When you choose to sin, you turn your back on Jesus Christ. So it's time to get real about Jesus Christ, who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes unto the Father but by him. That's why Jesus Christ said, go and sin no more. He said, sin no more, lest the worst thing happen to you. So you got to get serious about God. It's time to turn off the wicked rap music. It's time to stop watching your stupid shows and time to think about eternity. Where are you going to spend eternity? See, this man is of the devil. He's flipping me off over here. That shows that his heart is wicked. That's the only thing he can do, just flip somebody off. That's why there's not many intelligent students on this campus. Yes, sin has made you foolish. And the Bible says the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. The Bible also says fools mock at sin. Please acknowledge Jesus Christ or you will burn in hell fire for your sin. The Bible says awake unto righteousness and sin not. It's the real deal and now you can be just like me, happy and holy. The Bible says without holiness no man shall see the Lord. So stop being a hoe and start being holy for Jesus Christ. Yes, I read the Bible. I read the Bible today. The Bible changed my life. The Bible has made me a new person. I used I used to be a wicked sinner. I used to be a drunkard, but a can you pothead. Stop and allow people to talk to you, sir. Have you run out of things to say? No. I want to condemn. Your father. I'm telling you, if you don't believe, you're already condemned. But you can be justified. You can be sanctified. You can have peace with God. But you got to humble yourself. The Bible says God resists the proud, but He gives grace to the humble. I have come to the right place. You definitely need Jesus Christ. You definitely. You Jesus Christ to set you free from all sin. I would love to give you a hug. No, it's okay? not about hugs. It's about the truth. It's about the truth. She, she's gonna hug you. She's gonna hug you all the way in a hellfire. But me over here, brother Mikhail, he exhibits true love. True love by telling you the hard truth. Most people will never tell you the hard truth in your life. Most Christians will smile at you and say, you're cool, I'm cool, we're all going to heaven. But that's not what Jesus Christ says. Jesus spoke more on hell than he spoke on heaven. Because he wanted to. I stand in solidarity with my Christian oh, sister no. in responding to this hate speech that shows up on our campus. Hey, that's we that's also have a student I... organization called hey, Sun Devils Are Better Together, which is an anti-hate group on campus. Yes, so stop we bring hating the Christian. I'm just one guy over here, and there's and many of you. Together, and we encourage them saying. to form community, build relationships, and learn about each other's worldviews and traditions. I'm building relationships so I really right encourage you to get to know the people standing next to you in this crowd, because if we can unify against hate speech like this, maybe we could also unify with respect for one another, empathy, and compassion, the values that we claim yourself. based on our identities. You don't respect Thank you. Yourself. The Bible says, woe unto you when the whole world speaks well of you, so they did of the false prophets.